I wanted to include a little demo of how great I think this current meter is and how current sensing is so slick in modern power supplies. So obviously I've got a very simple little circuit here, just an LED and a resistor. And I've set the voltage at seven volts and, and the power supply tells me that I'm running 24 milliamps. That's just wonderful. You know, I used to have, I used to depend for most of my small projects before I bought this power supply, I was relying for the most part on my small projects, this little power supply that is good for 500 milliamps and one to 15 volts. I had no idea how much voltage or how much current I had because all I had was the dials. So I put a little miniature voltmeter on there, digital voltmeter on there, and I've got a, an analog voltmeter up here. So not the best solutions and there is no current indicator at all, so I would have to put a meter in series with the circuit in order to find out how much current it was drawing, or put it across the resistor and check the voltage across the resistor and then calculate. So that all was not so hot. So that makes these current sensing power supplies really, really handy, very nice. So I can tell right off the bat, my little LED circuit, if I apply seven volts, and with the resistor that I have in there, which I think is a 220 ohm resistor, it tells me that that circuit's drawing 24 milliamps. And knowing that the red LED is supposed to be drawing about 20 milliamps, uh, this tells me right off the bat where I am in that range. And then I can, I can increase the voltage. I can go up to say nine volts and it shows me that that LED circuit is now drawing 33 milliamps. So I can say to myself, hey, do I really wanna put that much current through there or not? If not, then I can just turn the voltage down. And then, as I was mentioning, because there's a four-digit display, three digits to the right of the decimal place, so you can actually read single-digit milliamps. And I don't think you can do that if you've got a three-digit display that would probably only have two digits to the right of the decimal place. So in that style of display, it would show you zero current, where with the three digits to the right of the decimal place, it can show you that there's seven milliamps running through there. So I think that's a really neat feature of these four digit displays. I can't guarantee that's the case with the other power supplies, but I think that's the case. Let's try it on a little motor circuit too. That's kind of fun just to, just as another comparison. Say you're, you're running your little test motors or you've got a project that's got a motor in it or a solenoid or whatever. You can connect this type of a power supply that shows you the current. And again, you know the current that, in this case, my little motor is drawing. Just by looking at the power supply. And then if I turn the voltage up, I can watch the current change. So I know at 7 volts, that motor is drawing 21 milliamps. So I just wanted to highlight the current meter and the fact that it's got current sensing and it will show you down to, to a single digit milliamp range. And then on this particular power supply I mentioned, you can push the output button to stop your output. And then push it again to fire up your circuit again. And here's another point I wanted to make about all this. You can see that I've got it at one amp right now and I'm turning it down to 200 milliamps just as an experiment on another little circuit that I had going here. So I'm setting it up now we're back to about 34 milliamps or so is what this, this other circuit that I'm demonstrating with. It's got nothing to do with the uh, prior example. But you can see that the mustache just is hardly working at all, and it's supposed to be vibrating much more than that. So you can see that I'm only going from about 34 milliamps to maybe 90-ish milliamps or something. And the circuit's not working, and I was troubleshooting that, trying to figure out what the heck's going wrong here. <laughs> and what I'd realized is that, that I didn't have the uh, current limiting turned up high enough on my power supply, and it was limiting the current that was required for that particular circuit. So here I am turning it back up to one amp and I left it at seven volts. It was at eight a minute ago, but that doesn't mean anything. And now I'm operating my circuit and you can see that the mustache works as designed, but it took 440 milliamps roughly to operate properly. So that's another beautiful feature of having the ammeter on your power supply 
but be careful of having a current limiting power supply because you might be limiting the current so much that your circuit doesn't work and you might be chasing your tail trying to troubleshoot that.